Hello everybody, this is Frony Till Bobbin here, and welcome back to Train Simulator 3, where today we'll be taking a look at the Badgers Pass, yet another new American route here in Train Simulator 3. Yep, lots lots of American routes have been coming for this game lately, and here is another one, the Badgers Pass. Uh, and this one, of course, is uh, not a port of another route, I don't think it is anyway. Uh, this is a new to Train 3 route. Uh, yeah, so, uh, new route, new American, got some cool stuff in it, as we shall check out right now. But before we do that, be sure to check out my Fiverr gig, link is in the description. Alright, so starting off with the star of the show, we have the Canadian National C8, uh, no, C40-8W, another big giant American look wolf here in Train Smart 3 and this one is Canadian National of course not the first Canadian National locomotive here in Train Smart 3 uh, but the uh, first one as we looked at in the uh, CN Holly Subra was more of like a middle sized road engine well here we have a big one yes so take a look at the cab and uh, I'm not sure if this cab is reused or is used to this locomotive but here it is the cab of the C40-8W Looks pretty nice, actually. And of course, horn. There you go. C40-8W. Up uh, next, uh, here we have the 50-foot boxcar in Southern Pacific livery. Yeah. Uh, Southern Pacific, actually not a new railroad here in Train Smart 3. You can actually drive Southern Pacific locomotives in the, uh, uh, the, what's it called, the Kickstarter County route, that one. Um, but this is a new box car here in this route. Also, it's got a uh, Hydra cushion, don't, don't know what that is, but there you go. 50 foot box, 50 foot box car in Southern Pacific livery. Another Southern Pacific box car here, this is a 40 foot box car. This is the DES box car, 40 foot in Southern Pacific livery. This box car actually looks kind of... Yeah, not great. The text is a little bit too shiny. I think this might be a really old model or something. Um, yeah, this one doesn't look as good as the other one, but it's a clue in the center regardless. Uh, so there you go. The 40 foot box car in the overnights of the Pacific Livery. It looks, the livery itself looks pretty cool, but just the modeling is not great. I think this one's an older box car, but there you go. Up next, we have the Skeleton Log Flat Car. Um, not new to Trains 3. So, by the way, in fact, we just pulled this thing in just the last video back in the uh, Tidewater Point Rail uh, port here in Train Simulator 3. It's, well, it's back again here in this route. That I just passed with the skeleton flat car. So, yeah. So, there you go. Up next, we have some new Pacific stuff, which is also not new to Trains 3. Uh, first up, we have the UU Pacific SW10 shunting engine. Uh, which was also in the uh, Yellowstone uh, Yellowstone Mountain route. Well, here it is again, included in this route. Uh, cab. I think this is all. I think this is exactly the same as the uh, Yellowstone route. But we'll start again, just for those of you who have not seen that video yet, and just want to see this thing. Very interesting horn and bell sound for this thing. <laughs> Up next, we have three different liveries for the 50-foot boxcar in the Union Pacific livery. Uh, we have this version here, which has silver on the roof and the undercarriage. Yeah, it's the first one. Up next, we have silver just on the roof. And this one is silver. Actually, this one is silver in the, uh, the ends and the undercarriage, but the roof is... Says yellow. Actually, this one has silver ends as well. You realize so this was an all silver, and these two are half silver. Uh, same ones though as you got in the Yellowstone Mountain and Central River route. Oops. Okay. Up next, we have a couple CSX locomotives. Uh, this is the uh, SD40-2 locomotive in two different CSX livery. We have the YN2. And behind it, we have the YN3 livery. So, same look, just two different 
Great schemes. Um, so we'll take a look at the cab for this one. This is a little move that's not new to Train 3, by the way. This one's all uh, that's been as previously been featured in other Train 3 add-ons. Um, I believe this one. I used to took a look at this one way back in the uh, Summer Lake Valley route. Uh, way back uh, last year, actually. So not new to Train 3, uh, but you do get it in this route. This logo may also be included in one of the other two U.S. routes, which I still haven't looked at now. Uh, either the Midwestern Branch or the Summer Lake Pass routes, which I haven't looked at yet, but it's at least here in this one. Up next, uh, another not new to Trains 3 one. This, this is the DES Black Car 53 foot in the Union Pacific livery. Yep, same as before. And finally, the DES Woodship Popper Car. Uh, which also was featured in the uh, Tidewater Point Rail Route. So, yeah. But uh, it's also here in this route. So, yeah. So, there's all the equipment you get here in the uh, in this route. Of all things to get, though, uh, these three, the uh, CN locomotive and these two boxcars here, are really the only things that are actually ex exclusive to this route. Everything else you see here is has been previously been featured in other add-ons. Um, and this isn't actually all that you're going to see on this route, by the way. There are some other trains that are just used here in the default game. So, yeah. But at least ex uh, well, at least if you want to get this particular set of stuff, you can get it all within this route. Uh, so I guess one last look at this route. It's not a very big one, actually. Uh, in fact, it's just here. Go here, and then it comes around here. Plus, track is invisible. And it comes through along this path as well, up to here. So not a very big route either. But there you go. That is everything you get here in the uh, in the uh, Badgers Pass route made by Pro Train. I forgot to mention before. So let's take a look at all the scenarios and then drive a train. All right. So here are all these scenarios you get. As per usual, you get a mix of free drive stuff. So you got free drive autumn, early morning, late afternoon, nighttime, rain, and summertime. Um, along with four pre-scripted scenarios, the Liquids Transport, Sightseeing Trip, which is the uh, Rocky Mountaineer, uh, Timber Transport, which is the only one which uses the big C and locomotive, and wood chips. Also, Liquids Transport, that one also uses a locomotive that is actually included in the default game. And they have the uh, scenario that I made just to drop everything, just ignore that. Uh, but the scenario that we're going to be doing for today is the Timber Transport, as this is the only scenario with the, with the CNC40 locomotive. Um, yeah, so, uh, transport timber logs from Fritton Hills 4th Street to High Meadow Mill using the Canadian National c 4 w locomotive, and six skeletal log freight cars ensure safe loading of the logs. So, yeah, we're doing some logging stuff two times in a row. Uh, yeah, so, let's begin this scenario. Alright, another big list of stuff to do. Alright, tonight, on Top Gear! Hammer crashes into a tree. <laughs> yeah, that's finally a bit weird. All right, tonight, your task is to upgrade a CNC for the uh, locomotive accompanied by six skeleton log flat cars. The journey begins at Flint Hills Forestry, where you load timber logs into the flat cars. Okay, take care to ensure proper place, but secure fastening of the logs. Once the flat cars are loaded with timber logs, you will embark on a scenic journey to High Meadow Mill. Enjoy the picturesque views along the way as you transport the valuable cargo. Yes. Your skill for upgrades to keep the timber logs are crucial to the success of this mission. Have brought from Philly, Germany. Best regards, the supervisor. All right. So, it's actually the uh, evening, uh, which we don't usually do. So, here we are, uh, starting... Wait, is that a walking per... Uh, hold up. Is that a walking person? Wait, a walking... Oh, wait. There he is! No way. A walking person in trains. You don't see that ever, actually. Wow. Okay, I guess we'll turn the lights on because it's pretty dark actually. It's about. Actually, it's 5 p.m. Uh, let's do the uh, this one reduced. Okay, so what are we doing? Um, okay, we have to pull up to there. Okay. So starting uh, here at Frinton, which is the this sort of end of the line. The, the, the line. So we're basically doing what we did in just the last video. Well, let's see. Technically, we, we actually drove on the uh, SCR Piers were on the last Train Street thing I did, but uh, but in the last like actual proper video, we did the um, uh, what's it called the uh, Tidewater Point Railway. We did some other logging stuff there, so yeah, we're doing logs again. 
I may be wondering why we're doing logs again already. Well, simply because I want to drive this locomotive. And, uh. Oh, it's going already. And there's the only scenario that has this locomotive in it as. Well, as what we're driving. Alrighty then, welcome to the Pro Train Badgers Pass. Uh, yeah, I just forgot to mention that this is another Pro Train route. Uh, so maybe this is their second attempt at making an American route. Uh, the first attempt was actually quite good with the uh, Union Pacific route, and uh, you guys really love that route. <laughs> I bet you are still getting views, by the way. It's at 2.7 thousand now, as of when I'm recording this video. All the uh, Karma video at the top water point, we also did uh, pretty good. 750 views now, sitting as of when I'm recording this video. And uh, hopefully this video is good as well. I know you guys really, really like the U.S. Train Street content, so here's another one. Funny enough, I was actually gonna um, this weekend. I was actually gonna look at the uh, or at a uh, at a U.S. route in Train Simulator Two. Um, but I've noticed you guys don't seem to care as much even for Train Simulator Two as you do for Train Simulator Three. So um, yeah, I was actually looking in the DLC list uh, today. Uh, to see if there would if there was any like new whatever routes here in Train Simulator 3. And sure enough, this was there, so I figured, well, better make a video on it. Better be the first the uh, first to win the rat race. <laughs> yep. And if you want to know what I mean by that, uh, first to make a video on this route, because I know you guys really want to see this stuff firsthand. So <laughs> that means I better be the one to make it before somebody else does. So, here we are then. Hopefully this will be the first video on YouTube on this route. Uh, what's that? There's bears. I get away from those things. But yeah, Badger. Um, I think this is a completely new route. I don't think this is based on anything. Maybe, or maybe, okay, maybe inspired by something we've seen trains. As far as I know, this is a totally new thing. You know, just last time, of course, we looked at the Tidewater Point Rail, which was a port of a route from Motor Train. Actually, you know what's funny? Of the past four trains, uh, U.S. train studios come out, we've had the uh, we've had the Seattle Sub, which was a port, then the Yellowstone route, which was a which was a new route, then Tidewater Point Rail, which was a port, and now this, which is a new route. So actually, if the trains continue, then the next U.S. train to road should te theoretically be a port of another one. Hmm. Well, you know, I'm curious now. Um, for those of you who are watching, go down in the comments. Uh, what old trains or what old trains U.S. route would you like to see poured into this game next? Uh, so we have City Country USA now, I believe. See and Holy Sub, Tidewater Point Rail, and there might be another one that I'm forgetting about. Um. Uh, oh, tending the uh, Canadian. No, Summer Lake Pass. Some, I, I don't know. Yeah, Summer Lake Pass. Actually, that's another one. Or no, Summer Lake Valley. I don't know. <laughs> why, why do they have two routes with like the same name? There's Summer Lake Pass and Summer Lake Valley. Why? But yeah, what's routes? What route would you like to see the port in this game next? Um, I don't really have a route that I really want. Um, all things considered. Um, yeah. Personally, I can't really think of one that I would want in here. And here we are, arriving at uh, the Fritton Hills Forestry. We get to pick up the logs. Alrighty. Oh, here we go. 
Uh, please load. Uh, please load all the wagons with logs. You have to stop at to load the wagons due to limited space in the storage area. Only maximum forty-five hundred blocks can be logged commonly at once. Therefore, you need to wait for the available new logs. Once the logs are ready, pop up the thirty seconds for the train to the initial point process. Yep, just did this last time. So, okay, I have to come to a stop here. I see. So we're gonna load up the logs and then reverse back. All right. Logging again. This time with Canadian National. Oh, I really didn't love this one. Come on. There we go. Okay, I'm going to pull forward a bit. Actually, now i got to wait a little bit for the, for the back of logs. I think there's even the same logging asset actually uh, from the uh, Tidewater video. Ah, Flynn Leader Rot Edger. Where can you make your own rocks with these logging thing with jigs? It's actually been a long time now since they promised that they were going to be getting those, and we still don't have. Well, we still have no idea when those features are coming. I assume that the N3V game team are actually hard at work getting uh, Train Simulator uh, or Train Spirit Road 2022 up to snuff after that game released in a rather unfinished state. Um, but as those of them working on that game, this one's just kind of been neglected. I mean, there are new add-ons and stuff coming up for this game, like new rolling stock and routes. But as far as, you know, getting stuff like the editing tools and multiplayer, and even multiplayer surveyor, that's probably going to be in Transformer 3. There's been nothing on that in a long time, so. I don't know. I do think that the editing tools will come at some point. I just don't know when. Oh, it's a pretty good spot there. Was that all of them? Hmm. Okay, guess we have a few more. Actually, you know what? There's actually no sense in pulling up because uh, to actually get, load up the logs, we have to actually move up and then have them load them. Uh. All right, so then once again, yeah, I think this is actually like the same sort of forest asset as what we saw last time in the Tidewater Point rail route. So yeah, that's why all these wood chip hoppers and logging wagons have been included once again. Alright, come on. Why are you going so slow? Yeah, let's get another tree down. Okay, new batch of logs. Okay, I want to try up as little as much as I can. And there we go. I didn't load these ones. Why? There we go. All right, one more batch left, and then we'll be good to go. Logging. It is an important industry. Because with logs, you can make uh, timber. And with timber, you can make all sorts of things. Or planks, I don't know. 
What is wood? Oh, I just realized something. So those are wood chip hoppers. What do you use wood chips for? Wait a minute. Those are the chips that come from making the, the planks. Oh. That was actually a pretty dumb question. <laughs> what do they use wood chips for? The wood chips come from when they cut up the wood. You stupid fool. Alright, one more load, and then I think we can take off. Alright. Let's get the logs. And we're off. Okay, please turn around. Wait, can we go back? Um. Okay, I'll pull up the marker first, and then we'll... Because the track ends... Oh, yeah, it ends right here. So, yeah, obviously we can't go forwards. Look at this engine. Yes. Oh, they don't usually use these type of look more for stuff like this. This is more of a job for like a smaller shunting engine. Well, funnily enough, I showed off the, uh, the, uh, more of the SAR Petersburg route just recently, and that actually works pretty well. So, like a long distance freight route. So, if you want, you can get this add on and then make like a long freight train on that route with this look more of an, use look more for something that's. For. All right, now we can back up. All right. Okay, our train's gonna be a lot heavier now, though. So uh, no horseplay. Oh, so there's a worker between the logs and the... That's a bit of a dangerous place to be. Why would you pee there? Also, this road looks nice. I also like the ambient noise on here as well. Can't think of many other train spots that have uh, birds chirping as uh, ambient noise. Sounds cool. It gives more more life to the uh, forest sections here on this route. Yes, I am speeding, but I don't like going slow. I think once you go 10 over the speed limit, that's when the game gets like, and be like, no, you must follow the speed limit and drive properly. But I think 5 miles per the speed limit is, like, fine. And to be honest, well, actually, I'm going to have to care about the speed limits here because, uh, don't want to lose some points, do we now? <laughs> Uh. 
So, here we are then. Backing up. Okay, so as you go to 25, I'm gonna just stay here at 20 anyway, since we're about to come to a stop. We have quite a long ways until the uh, the red light, but I don't want to risk it. So you can hear birds tripping, and here in this page you can hear wild animals. Okay. All right, now that's done. We can check out more of the route. Now we come to a stop. Yeah, that's a bear. That's a wolf. Yep, we're in the wilderness now. And this train is not going to come to a stop. Wow. Okay, apply a bit of power. Oh, a bear hills. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, power. Okay, so we're on an uphill incline, and we do have all this weight, so. Man, imagine driving this in realistic mode. Actually, would it be easier in realistic mode? I don't think I want to find that out today. All right, power! Come on! Okay, we are moving, but we're moving very slowly. But yeah, we have that being said, though, we are starting on an uphill incline, and we have a very heavy load behind. Although we are about to reach the summit of this hill, so by that point we should be able to pick up speed, but you never know. Power! I am at 74% throttle, but easy mode doesn't really make much of a difference where you apply the throttle because however much percentage you actually apply for the easy mode throttle is is actually like a set speed. Like the look would have just climb to a certain speed speed and then it would just hold that speed. The other reason why I drive in easy mode, by the way, instead of like realistic mode is because I don't like realistic mode here in trains and here in train simulator any of the trains games because it's, it's just so strange to me the way that it works particularly with the braking um with the brakes you um it takes a long time for them to apply and it takes forever for you to come to a stop and you don't really know where, where to brake either so um, I just I just don't like realistic mode here in any of the train schemes, and I, I save that kind of stuff for like the more realistic train sims, like Train Simulator Classic or Sim Rail. Um, whereas Train Simulator is more of like an arcade train simulator. Like if if you're ter if if you're terrible at driving trains, or you just want to just drive trains to get driving trains, uh, Train Simulator is really uh, like an arcade game. Like choosing between like different racing games where it's like do you want a game that's really realistic or a game that's more just sort of easy to play I mainly still play trains well because you guys want me to look at this train This is a good place for a screenshot. Actually, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna save this. And then save it again. Because last time I actually did that, it actually didn't save properly. Hopefully this time it does.
Okay, now we're trying to go downhill. Okay, so also hopefully means we'll pick up some speed. We're approaching Bear Hills, which are oh, actually quite a ways from the big curve. Where are we going to, by the way? They uh, okay, they mentioned at the beginning of the of the scenario, but I don't remember name. Oh, this is pretty sharp for this corner. It's moving fast now. Oh, it's one of those grade crossings. Nice. A lot of reused assets in this route, it seems. Station. There you go. You can do some passage stuff. Unless what if you want. Are we there already? Oh. Is this the whole scenario? Hmm. Well, you know what? I think we could use a shorter scenario. But yeah, that was quick. Wow. So, High Metal Hill, that's the, uh... Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Is that the entire route? Uh, I thought I saw more in the, uh... What the heck? Oh, hold up. I thought... Oh. I guess this is the entire route, actually. I thought there was more, but... I guess not? Oh. Great crossing... Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a look at the uh, the map once we get there because, um, I thought I I, I don't know. Let's go cool bridge though. Look at that. Okay, about to approach a. Speed the Russian, so we'll slow down for that. But yeah, I thought there was more to this route, but no, we're actually already almost done with this scenario. Wow, that was fast. I guess it's the entire route. Hmm. By the way, uh, I forgot to mention, this route is uh, $5. So it's pretty much the usual cost for a Train 3 route, but this one's a bit short. They, they probably should have reduced the price on this one. Yeah, short route and a lot of the rolling stock is reused from other add-ons. I say reused, it's just well, it's just stuff that you can get in other add-ons, you know. Actually really the only new stuff is this locomotive and those Southern Pacific uh, box cars. The rest of it is either default stuff you can get with the that you just get with the game or stuff that was all that's also you can also get in other add-ons. Okay, come on. Speed is going under 15. Ah, uh, we are barely slowing down. Okay, we're going down a steep hill, but what the heck? Oh, that is steep. Okay, please don't get us. Come on, slow down. Oh, we're barely going to make it. Actually, we're going to get a bit more speed stairs. So actually, that was genius. Okay, I'm gonna pull up to the uh, to this um, logging station. I'm gonna actually take a brief look at the route map because I thought there was more to this route, but no, I guess this is the entire thing. So it's also a really short route to drive on. So uh, I don't know if I can recommend this add on actually. It's a bit overpriced. Actually, short route. Not many. Not much new rolling stock. All you really get is this. This engine here, uh, as like exclusive to this route, and um, 
I'm actually not even sure if this is exclusive to this front, actually. You might also be able to get this either standalone or, uh, I don't know. Well, I guess if you, if, if, if you're just starting out in Train Simulator 3, like if you haven't, you haven't purchased any of the uh, DLCs, and you want the equipment that is specific included with this add-on, and you don't want to get the other stuff, you know, you can. Like, there's the specific SW10, which is here. And I guess... Wait, are we gonna even unload stuff? Hold up. I am so confused. No, I think this is it, actually. Hold up, let's come to a stop, because I'm curious now. Is he gonna score me here? Or no? No, okay. So... Oh, no, there is more stuff. There's all this stuff down here. Oh, never mind. Yeah, there's all this stuff down here. Oh. Okay. Well, we saw most of the route, like about 60%, but... Okay, now there is more to this route than, than that. So it's actually no, it, it's actually not a complete ripoff. Five dollars is actually a pretty reasonable price. Not think about it. <laughs> um, so it's fine, I guess. Well then, let's finish the job. What was a warehouse? Okay, you know maybe this wasn't so bad after all. If you want to buy it, then I can recommend it. This is this nice doesn't go the entire route for some reason. Is that it then? Oh, that's it. Okay, complete the session. Alrighty. Guess what gonna Oh, there we go. There's the score. Five out of five stars, yay. Alrighty then, well that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in whatever I make next.